salutations! Welcome to Loving the Language of Literacy. My name is Sophia Lee, and today I'll be talking about my five most anticipated releases of April. First up on April 7th, we have None of the Above by I.W. Gregorio, and I'm going to mess up every single last name on this list. And this book has received so much pre-publication buzz and praise by Epic Reads and just a lot of other people comparing it to Simon and the Homo Sapiens Agenda, as well as just a bunch of other contemporary LGBTQ books. And it's also contributed a lot to the Weenie Diverse Books campaign because it is about a girl who is intersex. One night when she's about to go further with the boyfriend that she's completely in love with, she kind of realizes that there's more than she thought there was. Upon a checkup, she realizes that she's intersex, which means that outwardly she appears as a girl, but physically she's more like a boy. This truth is revealed to the entire school, and of course this is a problem because she's a popular girl, she's a champion hurdler, she's well liked, she has a great boyfriend, and this of course just t makes everything a toss up and changes her life completely. I've never read a book with an intersex person, this is an extremely new concept to myself and to the YA genre in general. I love that Gregorio deigned to write about this, and I can't wait to see his or her or no individual take. Also releasing on April 7th is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albert Talley. This has been receiving pre-publication hype and buzz since December at the Epic Reads Book Shimmy Awards. And it just sounds like the perfect book compared to The Beginning of Everything by Robin Schneider. It's about a drama kid who's kind of a misfit and he's actually gay. But class clown Martin finds out about this and forces Simon to be his wingman. Otherwise, he will reveal the fact that Simon has been talking to this guy named Blue online. Most likely, this truth is going to come out. And I always just love reading LGBT books because there aren't that many out there and with these quirky, interesting premises and characters you know it's going to be a wild ride of just fun and humor and thought-provoking ideas. Online dating and just becoming friends and making relationships online has become more of a thing nowadays. It's still a new playing field and I'm kind of hesitant as a reader to see, is Blue real? Is he a girl? Is he someone very close to Simon at school? Then on the 28th of April we have The Game of Love and Death by Martha Brockenbro. And this is actually narrated by Death. It's been compared in that aspect at least to The Book Thief and I'm so excited to read this. It's set in a historical fiction setting in the 1920s, 30s era between a extremely rich and college-bound boy named Henry and a poor Amelia Earhart wannabe as well as jazz club singer named Fiora. It's basically going to be a historical love story, but especially narrated by death, there's of course going to be a lot of more elements thrown in, maybe some backstory. And except for the book thief, there really has never been a book narrated by death, and I love reading books with such interesting perspectives. On the 28th of April, we have the book that is probably most anticipated by everyone else in the entire book community, and that is An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. This has been receiving hype, I think, since October or something, because it received a, believe, seven-figure pre-publication deal, which is outrageous. There's a movie in the works, and it is a standalone fantasy, which is, of course, really rare because of the need for enough world-building and plot development. This is set in a Rome-like world with an orphan named Leia who is fighting for her family as well as a soldier named Elias who is fighting for his freedom. It's apparently an utterly action-packed novel and I'm expecting tons of epicness because if this received a seven-figure pre-publication deal, it has to be good. Plus the cover is absolutely gorgeous! Lastly, we have Lying Out Loud by Cody Keplinger which is also coming out on the 28th of April. This book revolves around three main characters in a companion novel setting to the duck. And if you want to know my thoughts, just click on the review up here. Anyways, the first character is Sunny, who I believe has a sort of hard home life and lies about a lot of things. Then, by the synopsis, her apparent BFF, Amy, maybe more of a frenemy kind of figure, 
who d has a lot of identical feelings and they share a lot of their just secrets and stuff about life with each other. And then there's a writer who is a complete prep school kid who comes to their school and he finds himself head over heels in love with Amy. But he ends up talking to you on an online chat with Sunny for an entire night but he still thinks it's Amy so of course it's going to be hilarious fun chaos that ensues because of this. It obviously won't have as quite as much controversy as the Duff had. I mean, how much more can you get that friends with benefits? But I am still super excited to see how Cody Kaplinger has progressed as a writer since then. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Tell me in the comments below what your April 2015 anticipated releases are, and I will see you in a video soon. Keep calm and read on. Goodbye!